Hey guys, you know the the plan was for me to be the plan was for me to be playing a little bit of uh, table tennis or ping pong myself, but then I show up and I see these kids play and I'm like, there's no way our audience wants to watch me. Look at this young man go. G Way is his coach over here, the gentleman to my right. This is one young man that went to U.S. Nationals for the first time this past year. Look at him go. And then Cherry is the, the young lady in the red t-shirt that I think we're going to see coming up here too. So just, just amazing action. Hey, Corey Johnson runs the, uh, the, the programs here at uh, Paddle Palace. We're down here in Tigert. Um, this is nuts. First off, not only can you train to be on the U.S. Olympic team, you can train to be a professional player. Absolutely, absolutely. We have players of all levels here from casual to professional. And people come in every day, play all day long. All right, so we're in the newsroom, and earlier this morning we're like, I've got to ask the, 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 the hard-hitting journalist question. Is there a difference between table tennis and ping pong? There is, actually. There is? Yes. The main way to say it is it's comparing like different golf clubs. The old wooden clubs would be like the ping pong paddle. The new fancy kind of metal clubs would be our table tennis rackets. So when I watch the Olympic event, I'm watching? Table tennis. Table tennis. Okay, all right. We want to get back. I think, is Cherry going to hit some balls? Absolutely. Okay, I've become, the, let's, let's watch Cherry. I am her new biggest fan. I've watched her, I don't know, maybe the sixth time. She, she hardly ever missed it. How long has she been playing? She's been playing amazingly just a year. Je what? Yes. <laughs> she must be here like five days a week. Is that right? She is. She trains with G-Way at least three times a week, and they do both technical training like this as well as physical training. Okay, so I I'm going to take a leap here and say she's just crazy, naturally talented, on top of she probably works very hard. She does have a lot of potential, just like her <laughs> classmate Kevin, but she does work incredibly hard. And uh, they're in here almost every single day. Wow. All right. That's fun to watch. Uh, tell me about the programs. I know you have a, you've had camps going on all summer. That's what we're out seeing in here today. You have another one coming up uh, August 13th through the 17th. And there's still room for, for uh, people to get involved in that. Yes. There's still a few spots available. Um, so people can go to paddlepalsclub.com and sign up. We have uh, registration still going on. And it's adults and juniors, so anyone, any age can participate. And do I have to have a certain level? I just need to have played a little bit. You do not. You can be a oh. completely beginner, or you yeah. can be pros like Kevin and Cheery. Okay, excellent. And, and you talked earlier, the great thing about ping pong or table tennis is, it is one of those sports as a family, pretty quickly you can at least get to a level where you're having fun, you're keeping the ball on the table. Yeah, absolutely. Table tennis, you can keep a rally going in the beginning. Uh, it only gets tricky when you get to the more advanced levels. All right, well, Corey Johnson, thank you. Hey, we're going to come back here in a little bit uh, in the show, and we're going to talk a little bit of history uh, and, and take a look at kind of a robot. But, I mean, come on. Come on, guys. Look at this guy. Look at him. Oh, oh, I, got, oh I got in your way. I'm sorry. I got in his way. Oh, I can't stay out of his way. Look at him go. Wow, he's amazing. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, whoa. All right. Oh, that is it's impressive. Crazy. The Rod Hill crazy. Obstacle. Yeah, actually, you get a workout just watching this game. You don't even have to play.